Welcome to Mr. V Teach Math. In this session, we're going to look at bisecting angles. Bisecting means to cut in half. I'm going to demonstrate two techniques today. The first technique is going to use our protractor. Taking this obtuse angle, line this up as carefully as I can, take its measure, since this is lined up, this is zero, we're using the inside set of numbers, about 131 degrees. Divide this in half, which will give me 65.5 degrees. If I did that right, let me double check my math, yes. And then I would go here, starting at zero, counting up to 65, and a little bit extra to get the half. Connect the vertex to the point I created. Whoops, that was a little bit off. But that would be one way of bisecting it. Another technique for bisecting involves using our compass. This is a little bit more complicated. You're going to begin by creating an arc that will intersect both arms of your angle, starting from the vertex. like this. There. Now you've created two new points you're going to work from. At this point, it's okay if this changes size, but after this it needs to remain the same size. So from now on it can't change size. I'm going to work, make one arc from here, and then I'll go over here and I'll make a second arc, like this. one. Again, don't let your compass change size. Whoops, that slipped a little. There I have an X. Connect the X to the vertex. and I have bisected that angle. If I were to take my protractor and do my measuring, I'm going to discover since this is 141 and I'm coming in at 70.5 141 degrees, half is 70.5 Let me demonstrate again using acute angles. The same two techniques. First, using our protractor, measuring, this is 20, mm, 24.5 degrees, so I need to draw at 12.25 degrees, although drawing this is a little bit difficult, but I'll do my best. I'll do 12, just on the one. I'm going to have to draw like this. The other technique using our compass, again, from the vertex, drawing an arc that intersects both arms, creating two new points for us to work with. One is here. And one is here. Again, this can change size now, but cannot change size afterwards. I'm going to draw one arc from here. And then I'm going to draw another arc from the other point that I created. Hmm. I don't think I like that X very much. It can work, but I'm going to move my X out a little bit to get a different angle on the X. So that one I think I will have a hard time doing a good job with. 
Mm, not that that one's going to be a whole lot better. But I've got two to work with. Although, if I really wanted to, maybe I'll move one really close. That might work better. i move one a whole lot closer. Problem I'm having with these axes I've drawn is finding the center point. It's going to be a little bit difficult. But now I've shown you at least three times how to do it. And this ought to give me what I need. Every single one of these goes to the center point. And there you have it. And that is how to bisect 